Well, hello, everyone. I've, I, 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 I've got a topic today, not always common, common, but of big concern to you know, a, number, a number of people that has to do with our emotional response to someone romantically cheating on someone else and so on. So I've got this letter. We're, we're going to address that, but I've got this letter here. We'll launch off of this. We're, we'll, we'll call this person Sharon. Okay. She said, Dear Gary, I reread The Unseen Therapist all the way to the bottom. Now, The Unseen Therapist is my free ebook uh, that gives you an intro to our more advanced topics of The Unseen Therapist, Optimal EFT, and that kind of thing. And you'll find a link to it in the essential links, you know, below this, below this uh, video. Anyway, I reread re The Unseen Therapist all the way to the bottom. I understand that you have to go through the personal peace procedure. And yes, that's the latter part of the book. It's a sort of a, the intro how to, to do these things. So I have, I have formulated a bothersome event and I would appreciate it if you can tell me if this is correct. Okay. So, so she's trying her best to follow some instructions in the book. Um, intro beginner type instructions. And this is the the sentence she created that that points to a specific event for the unseen therapist to bring relief to, which properly done happened with great regularity and well and often deeply. OK, but here's the sentence. The moment my husband cheated on me with other women, I feel so angry and I invite the unseen therapist to resolve it. I really appreciate your help. Take care, Sharon. Okay, now let's talk about that for a little bit. Uh, I, I'm presuming here that you've read the book. If not, you know, please do. It's a it's a it's a free it's a free ebook. But the way she says this, oh, first of all, the instructions the instructions say that when you aim at a specific event, an emotionally charged specific event which as you will see if you read the book is typically behind just about every emotional and even physical disease type issues that we that we have when you aim at those it's always best and this is just common sense to go as far back in time as you can go because that's you know very logically the most foundational so things that happened at age two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, are much more likely to be foundational than something that may have happened in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and so on. So in this particular case, if if someone has a husband, they are not two, three, four, five, six years old. Okay, they are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s, or whatever. Okay. So the moment my husband cheated on me with other women. All right. Now, think about that for a minute. The moment when my husband cheated on me with other women, that's not a moment. And it's even other women. That's several moments. That's a whole bunch of stuff that has been laid out over time. Better, better. And this is where advanced training comes in. So I'm going to give you a little peek at advanced training. Better to look at, well, there's two things I want to point out. Better to state this. As the moment when I first learned that my husband cheated on me, maybe the husband told me, maybe I heard it on the telephone. Let's assume you heard on the telephone, some friend of yours, you know, do you know, you know, Sharon, that your husband is, you know, with cavorting with somebody, I saw them in a motel or whatever. That's a moment. And all of a sudden there's an emotional thud. Okay. Now I'm giving you as an example, these details are different for every, every person, but that's the real moment. It isn't a, it isn't a moment, a, a specific point in time where your husband cheated with other women. It is the moment you learned about it. that's when you had the emotional response. That's when you had the emotional thud. That's when it hurts so much and you can't let go of it anymore. Okay. And that's why you need help. You need freedom from it and so on because of this emotional thud that goes on. Okay. So we would reword this to be more specific. And the more specific you get, 
the more efficient EFT uh, or the unseen therapist can be in removing it. If you're not specific like that, then the, the odds the odds of you holding things underneath what we call it, under the table, okay, stuff you've forgotten, don't want to look at, repressed, certain emotions you may have about this. You may have not only anger, you may also have some guilt in there. You may have some fears in there. What's going to happen to my life? Are we going to get divorced? You know, this kind of thing. Okay. Lots of things can happen. So we need to be specific. And the more specific we get and the more we put on the table, ah, the easier it is for unseen therapists to just wipe the sleep clean. She's not going to interfere with your, your ability to believe as you choose, to hide things, repress things, not want to look at things, that's interfering with your belief to have your, you know, with your right to have your various beliefs, even if they're not good for you. Right. That, would her being a, that would be her being a very unloving uh, entity. She's like her saying, well, you can't have this belief, but you you ought to have that one instead. That's a that's the thought police. She's not going to involve that. So we need to put as much on the table as we can. Now, and we need to be specific. But there's something else that is also important. I've already talked about a little bit. The farther back we go in time, the more likely it is. I mean, and they, you would learn this with advanced training. It's also common sense. This this part of it. The more likely it is, the farther, the farther back you go in time, the more likely it is to be foundational. Now, I have to make some things up here just to make a point because I don't know exactly what's going on with Sharon because I have a short email here. But there would be some likelihood that one reason she would get so upset about this is because it may well be a form of, to her, abandonment that she felt as a child or rejection that she felt as a child. The I'm not good enough, the I'm not lovables, the something is wrong with me that she developed as a belief system in her own childhood. And so with this belief system kicking around under the surface, and now here comes this news about the cheating husband. It not only is upsetting in and of itself, but it's ups even more upsetting, highly likely, because it is bouncing off of past rejections, abandonments, and so on, clear back into childhood. So where do we really go with this? Well, we can we can address, you know, her emotional feelings about, you know, the news and, and so on. And we're likely to get some kind of result. But if it is indeed bouncing off of something way in the past, abandonments and rejections and the like, we're only going to go so far. It's likely to be partial, temporary, because we're not really getting to the true cause here. I have seen many cases with issues like this, cheating, if you will, but there's, there are other parallels to this, where something is so upsetting in current time, but yet rather than deal with that specific event in current time, we go, w what could be behind that? How was your childhood? Oh, you know, it was fine, except my father was overbearing and demanding and, or my mother left or, or my parents got divorced and I was raised by my grandmother or something. Okay some form of abandonment, rejection, and so on. It could rejection in, in school, for example, or by teachers, something early, early on that gives the belief there's something wrong with me. I'm there's something wrong with me. Now all of a sudden the husband later on in life cheats on you. Oh, that really hits and hits hard, primarily because of something more foundational way back there. So we want to deal with what's really causing it. I have seen many cases where I will deal with the foundational issue. And it takes some skill and some training to get back down to where that foundational issues or issue or issues are, those events in life that, that brought all this emotional turmoil about. Uh, it takes skill you know, and training to, to do that. But once we've done that, 
Then we go back to the current thought about, oh, my husband cheated on me or whatever else may be showing up for someone in their life uh, currently that's bothering them. When we take care of the thing way, way back then, they go, oh, what was a 10 now becomes a two I, of concern, but not not a biggie, okay? It's sort of like, well, now what do I do? I, you know, this is kind of new to me, and there's some consequences for this someplace. And but now, you know, you can work with it and handle it, because the true underlying foundational cause has now been taken care of. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. I really hope so. Uh, I will uh, see you next time. Oh,